Hello everybody, Ben Prather here from MTech. Today we're going to talk about downloading and installing Minecraft for PC, Mac, and iPad. First we're going to talk about how to download on uh, division managed devices. So that's through um, tech services that are going to support you in that, as well as how to download for PC and iPad at home. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you, uh, we have to talk about is the install is a little bit different on every one of the devices. So first off, if you have a PC and Mac, you're going to create a ticket to tech services to download and install. Um, you need to have permissions to install these. So you head over to serviceportal.ecsd.net. Uh, you can also access that by on uh, myecsd.net under staff and service portal. But once you're here, you're going to create a ticket. Uh, you are not creating this ticket on behalf of somebody else and you're going to choose general now in here You're going to ask for Minecraft and uh, classroom mode To be installed and then they're going to want to know um, the name of your computer. So you'd still fill out the ticket title and everything else uh, as per usual. Usually there's a handy little graphic to show where to find your computer name, but it's not working for me right now. So I'm just going to show you directly where to find the name. Uh, you can also have it installed on multiple computers. So let's say you're trying to install in a um, class computer lab, whether, with, whether you have a bunch of PCs or perhaps there's a laptop cart, you can put in multiple computer names for one ticket as well. So you can say Minecraft Classroom Mode to be installed on multiple computers as long as you give the computer name. Now where to find that name? We're going to click on our start menu. We're going to go to our settings and you're going to click on the very first option system. Uh, here we're going to travel down to about. This is going to give us information about our computer system and one of the first things you'll see there is that device name. So once again that was in the start menu. Click on the settings, go into system, and then about, and it'll give you your nice little computer name right there. Uh, you can even highlight it and copy and paste. And once you have all that information, Tech Services now knows where they need to install the programs. Again, it does need to be a PC device for the teacher to have classroom mode, I should say. If you're installing it for students, you do not need to have classroom mode installed. Classroom mode is that teacher control for those collaborative worlds. All right, so that's how to install on your district managed PCs. To install on a district managed iPad, um, right here, step number one, the tech uh, culture champion, the individual who coordinates the apps at your school, sometimes it's an assistant principal, they must first assign uh, Minecraft in the volume purchase uh, program. This doesn't mean that it costs anything. As we know, Minecraft is free. However, it does need to be, uh, they do want a certain number of uh, licenses purchased ahead of time. So what happens is you say there's 50 iPads in your school, you purchase, again, it's free, but you still have to, it's like accessioning them. You still have to assign those 50 licenses to your school site so they know exactly how many you need. Then it is that same ticket to tech services with uh, asking them to install them on your iPads um, and they, it will be pushed out by tech services to the iPad. All right. Next, I'm just really quickly going to discuss if you were installing from home. This means you have install permissions on your iPad or uh, on your computer PC at home. Well, that's really easy. Go to education.minecraft.net, click on support and download. Again, on this little graphic right here, I do have a quick link to get there, bit.ly slash Minecraft Education Edition, Minecraft EE download. So once again, that is bit.ly slash Minecraft EE download. And that'll take you right to this same page where you can download. So again, uh, when you have permissions, Windows machine, click there. Uh, the download again is free. How they um, have you pay for the service essentially is you're signing in with your Office 365 account that our district uh, purchases. So this is available download at home for anyone for free. You need your district account to log in. Same with Apple products, Mac users or iPad users can download directly from here. This little iPad link will take them to the App Store where the Minecraft Education Edition um, app actually lives. So. That is how to download uh, for division devices as well as at home personal devices for PC and iPad for Minecraft Education Edition. 
We also have a video on how to download Minecraft Education Edition on your Chromebook, as well as uh, our next video in the series, which is on how to access lessons on education.minecraft.net. They've got a ton of fantastic lessons ready, uh, already curated and ready to go for you uh, to use. So check out our next video on how to access Minecraft Education Edition lessons.